Alright, and welcome back guys. Now, a lot of people ask me if there is a method on how to level up quicker in Cold War multiplayer. And yes, there is a insanely broken method that I will be breaking down in this video for you guys. So without further ado, let's get right into it. Alright guys, so in the background you can currently see gameplay of me using this method in multiplayer and it's insanely broken. If you played hardcore and multiplayer before, you may notice that there are a lot of people running around with shotguns holding a frag grenade or any other lethal while shooting. Now, this method is very overpowered at the moment and also kind of newbie and really annoying to play against because everyone is just running around with a shotgun, holding a Semtex, shooting you, like spamming their shotguns and it's really annoying. Um, however, it will guarantee you a lot of XP. And by doing this, you will not have a sprint of fire time anymore, which will make your gun be up at all times, and you won't have the short second when having to put your gun up again. But also without gung-ho, but that's not the only reason why you'll be getting tons and tons of XP in hardcore. Now, the main reason for this is metal farming. You'll be getting tons and tons of XP by farming metals. Now, what I mean by metal farming is every time you get a metal that pops up on your screen, you will be getting XP for it. And there are things that you can do to maximize the amount of XP that you will be getting per game. For example, every time you get a one-shot, one-kill medal that pops up on your screen, you will be getting an additional 50 XP. And that 50 XP adds up very quickly when playing hardcore matches. But well, let's say you get like 50 kills on a match on average, that's already 2.5k XP. Watch and you have to side. think of the other medals that you will get. You can get long-shot kills, you can get point blanks, you can go on a streak. Like you will get XP for every single medal that you get in the game, which will add up very quickly especially in hardcore but yeah guys as i said you will get a lot of xp and you can see it on the screen right now i got 67 one shot one kill medals which equals 3350 xp which is just this one medal if you look at the other ones i got 29 long shots which gives you 1450 xp a lot of double kills a lot of blood firsties all that good stuff you can get a lot of medals just by playing one hardcore match uh, you can get headshots point blanks all that kind of good stuff. Alright, so this is the class setup that I'm using. As you can see, I am using the AK-74U as my primary and the Street Sweeper shotgun as my secondary. If you look at the attachments of the Street Sweeper, you will have to use the Duckbill Choke, which gives you a wider pellet spray. Then for the barrel, I will be using the Ranger barrel. That's only because it gives you 30% more effective damage range, which you will need in hardcore because they're already one shot, so you don't need a task force because that's plus damage. You can also use the hammer forged but if you hit your shots you don't really need more fire rate and for body i'm going with the last laser which gives you more hip fire accuracy which is really good for the gung-ho strat and on magazine of course the biggest magazine because you don't want to reload your shotgun and have to wait like five minutes for it to reload so i don't use any handles because you really don't need to if you use the gung-ho strat you don't need aim down set speed time and everything so you don't have to use any of these and then on stock i use the no stock because that's gonna give me more sprint to fire time if i'm not holding a semtex but if you're using the gung-ho strat you really don't need to put any stock on only thing that you will really need is the muscle barrel and body also the magazine uh tactical lethals and field upgrades you can use whatever you want to i personally use the semtex because if you're holding a frag uh, it's eventually gonna explode so you want to have something that's not exploding and you can hold the semtex as long as you want to and it's not exploding in your hands so semtex is the best way you can also use molotov so molotov or semtex works very good and then for perks uh, you want to use flag jacket and tactical mask just because for example if you're killing someone that's using the strat and has a semtex in his hands and the semtex drops and you're running into it you're gonna die if for perk 2 it doesn't really matter you can use scavenger assassin or tracker it doesn't really matter uh, but i think assassin and tracker works the best perk 3 you have to use gung-ho otherwise the strat won't work and either ghost or ninja i use ghost because i don't want to be seen on a mini map which helps you a lot but yeah that's basically the class setup and yeah that's basically the whole video so if you guys have any other methods on how to level up fast in multiplayer just let me know in the comments and that's basically for the video thank you guys for watching and see you next time
I knew I would make it. Thought we were forever, but you know you're clever, so you would do shit like just lie in my face. Never say never, but my heart is severed. I don't think I ever want to see you again. I gave you trust and you gave me lust. I guess I deserve it for fucking a friend. I can look in your eyes and see when you're lying. So how you gonna look at me trying to pretend? Thought we were forever, but you know you're clever, so you would do shit like just lie in my face. Never say never.